All right, what's going on everybody? This is another DLJ Works tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to actually show you how to configure an FTP account with your Dreamweaver program application. Now I'm currently using Dreamweaver CS6. It's back from 2012. I don't have an Adobe Creative Cloud um, account or subscription. That's what I'm trying to say. So, but as long as I still have this program, and it's still working well for me, I will continue to stick with my Dreamweaver, my Creative Suite 6 that came out back in the year 2012. It still works wonders. So now with that out of the way, if you don't have Dreamweaver, you can sure enough still use Notepad++, use your text editor, um, just using some of the basic principles that I'm still going to be doing here today. The first thing that we're going to actually do right now, I already have Dreamweaver up, okay? Let me go ahead and go to my desktop. That's where I want to actually go. So let me hide Dreamweaver. Okay, hide Dreamweaver. I'm going to minimize this because we're not ready to see that yet. Ah, it's popped back up. Hide. Okay, so first off, we want to do, we want to go ahead and we want to create a folder, okay, for our website that we're going to be creating. Mine's this demo by DLJ Works because I do all my demo sites on here. All right, if I open this up, as you can see, we have our index HTML file from the Dreamweaver website, the Dreamweaver page that we're currently working on. So when you this pops up, you want to go ahead and you want to save. Okay, I'm going to just click save as so you can see the directory that it's going to go under. Um, mine's is saved under the DLJ Works folder. And we want to always save it as index.html anytime you have the home page that you're going to be, when you're creating a HTML website for scratch, your homepage needs to be named index.html. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that because we're not going to save it right now. Okay, now we already have this kind of set up. Let's come over here to where it says remote server. So this is the actual part that we wanna actually kind of deal with. Uh, we wanna go ahead and I'm going to click new site where it says site. I don't want it to go to my DeshaunJohnson.com it has a completely different site. Let's go ahead and let's click on new site right here. Okay, so I clicked on new site, so we're going to just name this demo by DLJ Works. Okay, demo by DLJWorks.com. Uh oh. Okay, local site folder. I want this to be. Okay, let's go to desktop. Okay, this is the site folder. Okay. Now I'm going to click save. Now it says here the root folder you have chosen is inside the folder for site DeshaunJohnson.com. We don't want this to go. This is insinuating that this will go to pretty much go to my DeshaunJohnson.com directory. We don't want that. We don't want any cross integration none of that we want it to go to its own root directory so the root folder you have chosen is inside the folder for site deshaunjohnson.com so i'm gonna cancel that let's just choose a different let's just see if i just choose desktop let me click save okay still saying the same thing okay let's just leave it here choose okay let me click save all right still saying we're going to figure this part out Okay, but we don't want to, I'm going to go ahead and click cancel because we don't want that. So I'm going to just go ahead and go back to desktop, demo by DLJ works because this is where it's going to go. Okay, that's where it's going to be at. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add new server. Okay, the server name here, let's go ahead and go to our just host backend account. Okay, so I'm going to create a completely new FTP account. I'm going to create demo at demo by DLJWorks.com. I'm going to give it my own password. Okay, we want this to go to the directory. We want this to go to is public. HTML, we want it to save directly onto the public side of the site. This is where the site's going to show. Okay, and then from here, we're going to go ahead and create. Once we have a password and we have an FTP user's name, which is just demo, we're going to click create FTP account. Okay, so. All 
All right, now, now that we actually have this actually set up, okay, demo by DLJ. Okay, so now that this, this is set up, home um, to demo by DL, and then it's public.html, okay, X that out. Now we're going to configure FTP client. FTP user's name is demo at demo by DLJ works. Then our FTP server is going to be FTP demo by DLJ works. Okay, so we're going to go, we're going to use this information to enter it into our dream weaver for the server. So let's see here the FTP address is ftp.demo by dljworks.com. Okay. And the server name is going to actually be ns1.justhost.com. All right, and I'll show you how I know that in a second. But first, let's go ahead and let's take care of this. Okay. Now, the FTP, we can just kind of highlight this. I'm going to copy, or you can hit Command C if you're on a Mac. I'm doing this from a Mac right now. Command V. That's the demo, that's the user's name, and I'm gonna put the password I just entered. Let me make sure there's no extra space here. Okay, good, it looked like there was extra space. D now, okay, we're going to leave this web URL right here. We're going to go to test. Okay, and it was successful. So it connected to the FTP account, but however, now let's see if we was to do HTTP www.demo by dljworks.com. Let's see if it will still work the same way. Test. Okay, it said it said it was successful. Okay, so we don't need to adjust anything down there. Let's click save to see if that will save. All right, so. So everything looks to be working very good at this moment. Let's go ahead and go to save. Okay, it's still saying that root folder you have chosen is inside the folder for site. Let's cancel that. All right, so I had to take a moment to finally troubleshoot to see exactly why I was having that whole issue with the root folder being to the Deshaun Johnson folder. And it's because, let me go ahead and I'll just show you guys. And one, let me preface it, preface this before I actually explain to you how I solve this problem. I don't have everything perfect when I do these tutorials. So I like to go ahead and um, if I am having a problem or I encounter a problem while I'm doing a tutorial, I want to go ahead and kind of run you through the process as best as I can without boring you to tears or make you want to click off because you're trying to wait until I actually troubleshoot the problem. So I took a moment to step away from the actual video, do another one and show you how I solve the problem. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually create, click on this actual folder. And this was the problem where it says users Deshaun Johnson desktop. Um, this wasn't connected as you can see the last in minutes ago you saw that after the forward slash there was nothing here because it was just going to the desktop it was the whole local site folder was interpreting that everything was just going to the desktop um, from there and it was actually here was showing me what it looked like on the actual back end of my C panel in just toast so what I had to do I had to click on this okay I had to go to desktop. I know I have the folder saved on my desktop. And if you look here, I have my all my files under my website folder for DeshaunJohnson.com because when you go to that website, it is complete HTML and just CSS. Right now at this moment, a very single page, simple website that I designed myself. So I went on ahead and went to that. So I went to choose. Okay, but I'm going to cancel for now. We're going to go ahead and click save. Okay, and it's already saved and it's connected. Now we should be able to go ahead and create that new site. So let me go up here and click up site. We're going to uh, click on new site. Now I'm gonna go through this process again. Let's go ahead demo by dljworks.com. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and this should work this time. I'm going to click choose. Okay, now let's save. There we go. Now we don't have that problem. Now that the whole error message is completely gone. 
So this from this point forward, we should successfully be able to connect our demo by DLJ Works website to the FTP client. So right now, what we're going to do next, okay, I need to actually configure the server. That's what I need to do now. I need to configure the server. Okay, so ns1.justhost, and how do I know that? I'll show that to you in a second. Dot com. Connect using FTP. Now I've seen people just name this anything, but I like to actually pull from the hosting company and try to find that myself. So the FTP address is going to be, let's go back. Okay. The FTP address is, um, let's see here. Okay. It should just be ftp.demobydljworks.com. But let me go back to DLJ Works. FTP dot demo by dljworks.com okay all right so the user's name is going to be demo at demo by dljworks.com the one I created then my password okay and I'm actually going to change this into because this is going directly to the website not the FTP client. Okay, so I'm gonna change that to my website. Let's test it now. Okay, it says Adobe Dreamweaver CS6 connected to your web server successfully. All right, so we're going to go to save. Okay. All right, go to save here. Okay, the cache will now be recreated because the name, root folder, HTTP address, or cloaking settings of the site have been changed. So click OK. Now we're good. Now it looks like we're in very good shape. So what I'm going to do next, okay, let's go ahead and test this bad boy out. Now this should create a, this should go ahead and create a folder. If I go to put, I guess I need to explain this too. So if I go up here, which you can't see the bar because of the way I'm recording this right now, but let me see here. Okay, not here. All right, this is what I'm looking for. So you can either do it two ways. You have get and put. That I guess the name should be the method should be self-explanatory, but I'm going to explain this to you. Get your pulling files off of your cPanel client on your hosting account. Put means you're putting the files on there, which is what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to just click this up here, and I'm going to put put. Okay. All right, and everything that we configured, it should be putting all of the data on there. Now, if I go to the browser, if I type in HTTP www.demobydljworks.com, all right, this is my website, which is what you see here in the code right here, because we was just simply testing that out. Let's go to the C panel to verify. I'm going to actually close this out and reopen it so you can actually see it, okay? Okay, let's go to cPanel. Let's go to File Manager. We'll leave it at Home Directory, which is DLJ Works, demo by DLJ Works. All right, and boom, if we go to a public HTML, all right, you will see that it automatically added the index.html file up here all on its own right now boom we are taken care of so everything on the front here is going to come through this h index.html so if you're trying to create a website from scratch this is the first initial process that you must go through you gotta connect is well if you're using dreamweaver i'm pretty sure that with the new dreamweaver that's on the creative cloud that through the adobe subscription the process is pretty much the same um, but you these are just some core principle fundamentals that you want to do when you're actually trying to configure your website to the back end of your hosting client, which is for me is going to be just those. Now, the other question is before I leave and in this video, I said that I was going to show you how do I know to name this that part of the server name to NS1? I probably could have just said FTP because it said name server. Um, if we go to back to FTP client, I could have just named it, I guess, FTP dot let me see here. Let's go to configure FTP client. 
FTP server. I could have just named the FTP demo by DLJWorks.com. Um, but I like to always use the hosting company name server, which if I can't find it here, then I'll just link it to the description in the video and kind of show where that's at or I'll put it in the blog. But for now, let me go ahead and see where that's at. Okay, we're not gonna worry about using any of these. That won't be necessary right now. So um, let me see here. Okay, I think it's under domains, but let's see here. Service, here we go, it's up here. So name servers. So we have default name servers and that's one.justhost.com and that's two.justhost.com. So this is where I found that. So if you're under just host, you wanna go to domains, you wanna go to name servers under your domains under this tab here and it will give you those default name servers down here as well. All right, so that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I uh, hope you learned something today. If this was confusing in any way, if I just mumbled off, there was something I could delete out, waste a lot of time on, please give me some feedback in the comment sections below. I wanna get better at doing these online tutorials and explaining things as I go along, something I'm very passionate about. But this is basically how you configure your FTP client side your, I'm sorry, your FTP information to your back end of your hosting account, at least especially with Just Host. So pretty much that's it today. Um, thumbs up this video. Leave a comment, like I said again. Once again, another DLJ Works tutorial. Thank you for watching. See y'all in the next video. Before you leave, go to the description below. Click that Show More link to see and use all of the resources that I trust that makes DLJ Works and can easily work for you.